boxing, American style boxing, and directly wrestling, sir. Okay, very good. Spencer Schaefer, what is the basic underlying theme of almost all martial arts? Sir, honor, discipline, respect, and loyalty, sir. Is there any others? Tough defense, sir. Thank you. Let's go, Mr. Scott Patterson. Why did Mr. Dutton name the studio Elite Karate? Sir, so Mr. Dutton named the studio Elite Karate because Elite means the best. Not saying that we are better than anybody else, but more to the point that we are going to be the best we can be, sir. Thank you very much. Mr. Brandon Johnson, what part of the hand strikes your target in a back fist? Yes, you may. You all have permission to demonstrate moves today. There was a back hand the first two knuckles, sir. And a rear hand punch? Sir, the front hand the first two knuckles, sir. Jonathan Cornell in a ridge hand, and okay, what part or part of the hand is to strike your target? Sir, just before the first knuckle on the under. What is the weight distribution, uh, Mr. Nick Wood, Mr. Nicholas Wood, what is the weight distribution and distance distribution in a front stance? Sir, in a front stance, the weight distribution is 60% of the front leg, 40% of the back leg, one to one and a half shoulder widths wide, and one and a half to two shoulder widths in length. Sir, how about a back stance? Sir, the weight distribution on a back stance is 70% of the back leg, 30% of the front leg, there is no width and there is one and a half to two shoulder widths in length, sir. Okay, back to Mr. Spencer Schaefer. What is the weight and distance distribution on horse stance? Spencer Schaefer, why is it important to know the history of the martial arts? Sir, because we do martial arts, sir. Mr. Nicholas Wood. Sir, because if we don't know the history of martial arts we do, then we don't know why we're doing it, sir. And then Mr. Dave Laplace. 